All right, I got a guy on the phone who claims he's been killing prostitutes and he's wondering why he's doing it. Oh, so maybe uh, he, he thinks I have an answer. Is this Ed? Ed? No, this isn't Ed. No. Oh. You haven't killed any prostitutes? No, I never said my name was Ed. Oh. Oh. Sorry. That's no, okay. What's your what name do you use? You can call me Clay. Clay? Clay? Yes, Clay. Okay, Clay. So what happened? How many prostitutes have you killed? Twelve. And you're wondering Where? why you do it? I have a pretty good idea. Why? Did your mom beat you? Did your mom spank you? Did, uh... Was your mom a prostitute? No. Actually, nothing like that. What is it, then? I think I just do it for the sense of the power. All right. Do you have sex with them first? Yes, and... And then what, you strangle them? Once. How else did you kill them? Well, a few times, actually, most times with a hammer. Hmm. And where do you do this primarily? Uh, I've done it twice in a parking garage, and then the rest of the time's on the side of the road. And, uh, you're from the New Orleans area? Yes. Hmm. And how, I mean, what do you, you beat them to death with a hammer? Man. Uh, it usually only takes once, in it? Dude, you gotta have a lot of anger in you. Yes. Man. Well, why do you need to feel so powerful? He's got some issue with women, but, like, some shrink's got to look into it. It's not even worried. I mean, you might as well just kill yourself if you killed 15 people. And that means you're heartless. Did you used to kill small animals? No. I've killed a rat. Yeah. See, a lot of guys start out killing kittens for some reason. Yeah, they kill something before they start with humans. If my kid, like, killed a, a kitten or something cute, I'd probably just, you know, figure, well, this is it. They're going to be serial killers. Kill them. <laughs> Dude, you're a serial killer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And you get away with it, I guess, because they're hookers, and so far nobody's... Howard? What? Is this Howard? Yeah. Hello? Hello? I didn't know this was Howard. Yeah, it's yeah, Howard. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've never killed a kitten. Really? I've never killed any small animal except a rat. Yeah, yeah. rats okay. Well. Rats, I don't mind you killing. But how'd you kill the rat yeah. stepped on his well, head, I bet. We had, we had a big flood a couple of years ago, and it's not actually a rat. It's called a Nutria rat. Hmm. And I clubbed it to death. It got in the kitchen of my work. Uh. So how old were, were you when you killed your first woman? Sixteen. And uh, you must be a powerful kind of guy, big guy. Uh, I wasn't then. Right. And uh, when you killed your first one, did you go in there knowing you were going to kill her, or it just sort of happened? I, I knew I I had I really had it planned out. Hmm. You know I wanted to do the whole sending clues. Right. Oh yeah. Are you in? Baffle people, but it turned out no one noticed for a long time. Right. Like what, like you killed her on the side of the road. Uh, her that was the parking garage. Okay. And then what'd you do with the body? You dumped that somewhere? Um. Yeah, actually, I think uh, she's probably one of the ones that they found. Yeah. But let me ask you, so you were sending clues that you were going to do this? No, I was. Uh, he was going to like doing that. He was going to leave like a note for the newspapers, and you know. Uh, but you decided not to. He didn't want to be famous or draw attention to himself. But my problem no, is, that's, could... that's what I wanted to do. But... Oh, but you did, but no one noticed the clues. I no, I never sent the clues. I never no. left anything. You know, I wanted to have my own little signature. Right. I wanted the thumb paint. Oh, it's with uh, your thumb. Oh, really? What do you want to do? Thumb paint with their thumbs. Some paint what, though? I don't know. Oh, anything. It, it was in a comic book a couple of years ago. It just seemed like a good idea. Like you take the girl you killed, you, you dip her thumbs in paint, and then you do like a thumb painting? Yes. On a piece of paper? Yeah. Hmm. Now, when you after you kill somebody, do you play with the body? Um, actually, the closest I've ever done to that is I always make sure I pay them and I make sure they keep their money. Oh, really? When they're still alive, but uh, with one of them, I did put the money in a compromising place. I see. But that was, this one, you know, it, it had a penis. Oh, oh. Really? It was a guy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know at first. So do you, do you ever get, do you think the reason you're so angry is because you were abused or something? No, I wasn't abused, Howard. Hmm. Where's your family? You got a wife? I mean, you got a mom, a dad, a wife, children, you got any of that? I've got a couple of kids, but um, I no wife. I'm not married to the mother. Mm -hmm. You're a white guy. 
Uh, yeah, Howard, that's pretty funny because the only suspect they had when they started finding the bodies was a black police officer. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Turns out one of them uh, was associated with them. Oh, really? Uh, are you on drugs? Ah, uh, I've done acid a few times. Hmm. So, so, so not, but nothing heavy. So after you killed, after you killed the first sixty-year-old, like uh, you, you finish, you, you finish. No, I was sixteen. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. She was. All right. So you finish with your uh, sexual gratification, and then you. Not always, no. Not always. You don't even want to get laid sometimes. No, I just. You just want to kill. Uh, I'm just bored. Right. But does the killing sexually satisfy you in some way? I can't believe Ed McMahon's not uh, laughing. I've, 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 I've eaten off thinking about it later. Yeah. What do you say? He's, he's pleasured himself thinking about it later. Oh, he has. Okay. Now, how far apart are these murders? Like, do you murder and then, like, you feel satisfied for a while? Um, I don't even understand why I do it, Howard. I don't know if, if I ever get any satisfaction. Hmm. But um, how, how the often... The together anywhere was uh, the same night. Really? Just, you killed two people in the same night? Yeah, but I went to Mississippi for the second one. Hmm. Hmm. So there's no pattern to how many weeks or days between murders? No. Are these mostly white chicks or black chicks? Uh, a fair, fair number of them have been black. The uh, transvestite was black. You think there's some racial motivation here? No, Howard. They were just, uh, let's just say, a Jimmy Swagger town. Mm hmm. Jimmy Swagger town. I don't know what that means. Me neither, but. Oh, that's. that's pretty much the area around here where the prostitutes all hang out. Oh. I see. And it's just whoever comes up to you. You don't pick a certain type? I don't even approach them. I wait for them to approach me, Robin. And so do you that's ever, like them asking for it. Do you ever, like, look into their eyes and go, you know, gee, these these people were just children at one point, and maybe they just had a tough life? I've let a couple go. You have. Like, what happened? You're in the middle of killing them, and then they, and then they what do they say? Why would you let one go uh, and kill the other? There was this one. Go ahead. Uh, I think she was probably really new to it. Yeah. I, there was just something about her. Maybe she reminded me of my ex-fiance, but... Right. You somehow more, relate... More, more of an innocent quality. I just... You somehow felt bad for her. Yeah. Hmm. And you have a fiance, so you're planning to get I, married? I, no. He had one, you oh, say. No, no. Um, if I wouldn't be a suspect, uh, believe me, she'd... But let me ask you, why'd you let... Like, did you start to kill her, and then, like you said, ah, forget it. Or you just never no, even... Not, not even. You just, not had sex, you just had sex with her and then you let her go? Uh, I didn't even have sex with her, Howard. Hmm. hmm. Well, that's weird. Now, that's weird. I mean, you just really felt sorry for this. I mm -hmm. don't know what, what she was doing, doing what she was doing, but... Are you a big, fat mess? It, but she, she got off lucky. Are you a big, fat mess? Or are you, like, a fairly good-looking guy? Oh, I'm not a big fat mess. I wouldn't call myself good looking. I don't know what I'd call myself, Howard. Right. Does he have a decent job and all that stuff? Sounds like a bright uh, guy. Not decent like you have. Yeah, well, we got ridiculous jobs. <laughs> you can't get these. Jobs. I don't even know that I'd call this a job. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is not a normal this is a made job. Up job. Yeah, this is a job that's totally useless. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like nobody really needs it. It's a scam. To me, a job is like something like you know, a UPS driver is a job. a job. All right. Not now. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Maybe this is a UPS driver. <laughs> Ed laughs, but he has no job either. <laughs> all right, so, all right, uh, this is always but you weird. Do work every day and stuff like that. This is always weird, but I'm bringing. Uh, at least we can uh, sort of uh, get into the mind of a guy who serial kills. Uh, I think he's 100 percent on the level. You so okay? So you killed your first woman. When was the last time you killed? It's been a few months. Right. Actually, it's it's been going on a year. Hmm. You're like the Boston Strangler, man. Maybe I should option your story. So, what do you think you're going to do? Do you think you're going to kill yourself? Do you think that uh, you think are you going to kill again? Can you uh, stop no, this? I killed myself. I'd miss the next Batman movie. Right. You don't want to do that. No. Well, that's a fan. <laughs> actually, I'd actually kill myself yeah, to miss. Why them, would you want to stay for that? No, but in all seriousness, I mean, do you think that uh, you could control this? Do you think I you think can stop? I think I have been. Oh, you have been for the last yeah, couple of months. A year he hasn't killed. Oh, a year? Yeah. Almost. So why do you think he stopped killing all of a sudden? I really don't know, Howard. I just... Part of it had to do with my car broke down. Oh, no transportation. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Seriously? That's the reason? Well, that was the reason for a month. 
but after that, I guess it was all self-control. Wow. Huh. So you, you don't want to do this anymore. No, he wants to do it, but he's controlling himself. Like, huh. you want to kill women, right? Sure. Yeah. And what, do you like, do you enjoy seeing them struggle as you kill them? Uh, actually, none of them really struggle. Hmm. Do you hit them from behind, or do they see it coming? Uh, I can't get inside their minds, but let's just say I hit them. But, I mean, are you facing them? Yeah. Well, so you can see their face and everything when you do it. Yeah, yeah. The, the worst I've ever gotten was, um, one tried to grab my neck. I've never gotten any of the claw marks or anything that are, uh, dead giveaways. Right, you must be very powerful. I wouldn't call myself powerful. Maybe, uh, intimidating. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose this method? I didn't, Robin. Like I told you, I really, I really wanted to cut things up, mail things, send clues. No, she means why did you use a hammer? You think you? Uh, because it was in a book I read. Oh, oh everything comes from cartoons and else. yeah. When's the last time you got laid? Uh, last week, Howard. Oh yeah, so you didn't kill that girl? No. Because she wasn't a hooker. No. Right. It's only hookers, though. A lot of serial killers are only to hookers because they know, A, Easy. probably won't get caught, and B, they have some kind of anger toward hookers. Like, did you think your mom was a hooker or something? Uh, no, Howard. Mm. Your parents married and stay together in the whole thing? Yeah. Mm. Church-going people? Uh, That'll do it. Well, one of them, but... Yeah. Religious fanatics yeah. give birth to the most serial killers because they're so repressed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So there's no way I'm going to talk you into giving yourself up or anything, right? No. I shouldn't even waste my time. I know I'm going to get calls after this and people are going to go, Howard, how come you didn't catch him? I'm has, gonna... has anybody ever been close to catching you? No. 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 Actually, someone once, when it was in the newspaper, someone joked to me, oh, I know it was you, but, uh, well, they were joking. Right. Mm -hmm. You think you might be gay? Mm, oh, I hope not. Right. Maybe you're a repressed homosexual. Were you ever molested? No. Hmm. Do you have a lot of tattoos? Uh, I don't have any tattoos. I wouldn't do that to myself. Right. And do you get high before you do this? Uh, I've gotten pretty drunk before. Mm. Yeah. A little animal. <laughs> a little <animal. laughs> Relax that shrinker. Well, I, I got to say, I wish you would die, but, uh, you know, what can I tell you? I, I Maybe this is sort of good that you're talking about it with me, and maybe it'll keep you under... Like, like maybe I can get you to turn yourself like in. a valve, and he'll be able to go another year or something. Yeah, but maybe uh, somehow, you know, you won't do it anymore. What about your kids? You want them living in a world with people like you? Hasn't really well, analyzed that. Anyway, I mean, yeah. <laughs> kind of lonely though. You can't tell anybody about this. I'm the only guy you can. Am I, am I the only guy you ever told about this? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. I guess that's sort of an honor. I've told a couple of women, Howard, but uh. They're dead. Yeah. Do you tell them first and then you kill them? Uh, yeah. What yeah. do you say to them? Let me. Hit... Fun. All right. Let's see. Now and then you can play the running game if you're out in the middle of nowhere. We got a lot in the middle of nowhere down here. Right. So, in other words, let's say you're with a woman, right? A hooker. Yeah, Howard. And you say to her, uh, okay, honey, uh, you, you know, you just had sex and everything. What do you say to her to torment her? How do you break the news to her that she's going to die? I. It really depends on my uh, mood. Just give us an example. Well, if I wanted to, I could just say Baba Booey, but that would be pretty... Uh... No, come on, be serious. What do you say to him? I, I can say you're going to die. And then what do they do? I, I like to articulate a little more than that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I ask them uh, if they think it's dangerous doing what they're doing, if they're worried about things, and they'll laugh it off, and that just pisses me off. Right. And then you go ahead and you kill them. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, now we've shed no light on this. We don't know how a serial killer is made, and yeah. we don't know how to catch him. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? All the experts don't know either, so. Well, here's a guy, just another story. He's well, out there. Well, you know, it's just, it, it um, substantiates my thing. Did you get jealous of Kunanin? Is that why you're uh, talking to us now? Um, no, actually, I was thinking about writing a musical about Andrew Kunanin, but. Got a comedian, too. Huh? You guys a, uh... Comedian. <laughs> hey, some psychologist is on the line. You want to talk to him? Sure. I mean, since you're looking for answers. Sure. Okay. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, yeah. Uh, Robert. How you doing, Howard? Hey, man. Go ahead. Just wondering, uh, how long did this guy wet his bed when he was a young boy? 
Are you, are you serious, or are you just trying to make a joke? No, I'm totally serious. Did you wet your bed when you were a young boy? Uh, no. Didn't do that at all. No. How about starting fires? Huh? How about starting fires? Sure. Yep. You did start fires? Yeah. How old were you? How old were you when you? For people to burn, not get into serial killing, to um, start fires, uh, wet their bed when they're young. Hmm. Hmm. Along with the mutilation of little animals, but he said he didn't do that. So. Right. That's kind of something that was missing. But fires was in your history, right? You could say that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of um. It starts off as external ways of showing off their anger, and then they move on and go on to bigger and better things. I guess. I wonder why this guy kills. Did you have any uh, guess? I don't know. I think you're right on with something with his family, his childhood. He's so angry about it. Right. You know, unfortunately, he's real angry and he's um, out there hurting a lot of innocent women. Yeah, what do I do with a guy like this? Just hang up and uh, forget about it? Or uh, is there anything well, I can... Depends on, I mean, what are you, Howard, what are you going to do? Of course, you're not going to, like, turn him in, but... Uh, well, I mean, I would, but I can't. I mean, want, A lot of people would want to turn him in, but what can you do? You talk to him, try and figure out what's going on. Yeah. All right. That's right. Uh, then I'll probably just hang up. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot, Howard. Right, thanks, man. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mr. Serial Killer. Yeah, I mean, you want to give us your name? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I know I'm not going to get him to turn himself in. I, I've had calls from people go, well, why didn't you do something? I go, well, what am I supposed to do? The guy's on the phone. Crawl through the phone and get him? Yeah. And they were like, well, why don't you trace these calls? And I'm like, well, I don't have that equipment. Yeah, what are we, the police? I can't, get a, I can't even get a phone system that works for air. Let alone a uh, tracing thing. <laughs> uh oh, Jackie's back there bumming out. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> Oh. First, I wasn't buying it, but now I think I'd buy it. Nah, I'd buy it. Yeah, I bought that, that guy. That's the offhand attitude that you have to have to be a serial killer. Nah, I, I'd buy it. You know, when you said Bob Booyah, I was hoping he was going to break it. Yeah. Yeah, you horse two jackass. Right, 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 right. He snap right point. back, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, I think he was the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth. Okay, Tom, you're on the air.